uh, what clinical signs would we see if there's been damage to the neurovascular bundle in the mandibular canal when we enter the canal route, removing a root tip? Unfortunately, there is never or hardly ever any signs that we see. And when I say unfortunately, my guess is that we do cause some damage, we do cause some discomfort that does not demonstrate clinically in the patient. And so we don't recognize that there's a problem and consequently we don't address it. So unfortunately, that's probably the normal case. But if you do see signs that suggest that the patient's pawing at the mouth after that, you can pretty much rest assured that that's, that's associated with the trauma to the nerve. And you want to make sure that you have uh, the appropriate medications on board. Gabapentin would be one that I would use because it's directly effective against mainly chronic nerve pain, uh, but you should have it on board for about 30 days or so uh, after the incident. If you do see clinical signs, just to make sure that you're covered from that standpoint, and then any analgesics that you can provide, like we just mentioned as well. But uh, very difficult. Uh, and we do damage that in our practice occasionally. And I know general practitioners, the, a lot of the folks that I talk to all the time, which are the people in our academy, uh, run into that as well. So it does happen, and it's certainly something that we need to be aware of, but we usually don't see clinical signs with it.